They didn't control their own destiny, but the Red Wings knew they had to win today's game to even have a shot at the playoffs. We hit the ground running with a great game. Last year, Victor won the Class AA sectional title. The year before, it was Aquinas, and tonight they met under the lights. And we talk about players making the most of their opportunities when they get the chance. How about Andre Holmes picking a great day to have his best game of the season? How important was it as the head coach here at Syracuse to get local talent like Roosevelt Bowie in the Rochester area? Well, that's always important. I think we've had four or five of our captains have come from Rochester. The Bills have been in wait till next year mode. Well, next year starts tonight. Welcome to On the Clock, everybody. I'm Rich Donnelly. And the second easy question, who are you guys going to pick at 10? <laughs> easy question, right? <laughs> On location again getting pumped up for plates night here at Frontier Field. Uh, I've got the calzone plate. This is an original garbage plate. This was part of the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Frank Howard had himself a night tonight. Give me that. Steals the ball in the first half. He's heading the other way. 15 points, seven steals for Howard in the ball game. He messed around and nearly got a triple-double because he also had 10 assists. This one going to Pascal Chukwu for the jam. The game is tied in the second half. Balanced scoring from the Orange tonight. O'Shea Brissett drives. He's fouled and the shot falls in. Two of his 15 points. Brissett and Beheim fired up. The Orange take the lead. Maryland's Kevin Hoyter is from Clifton, New York, pulling up from practically Tupper Lake. He was 7 of 9 from deep for a game-high 23 points. Maryland takes the lead with less than two minutes to play. When the Orange need a bucket, they go to Tyus Battle from deep. Buckets. The sophomore had a team high 18 points. Final seconds of the game when the Syracuse defense tightens up, gets the steal. Orange wins 72 to 70. They stay undefeated, and Jim Beheim likes what he saw. It's not often that we get treasure hunting stories in sports, but this quest for buried gold in Canandaigua Lake certainly fits like a perfectly sized ring. So right then and there, I knew, wow, holy cow, here's here's a pretty significant find. Gary Governick has been searching for lost items for years and with the help of his trusty metal detector business has been good. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Our story begins on Canandaigua Lake or more specifically scuba diving with a metal detector in Canandaigua Lake. I wanted to go where most people don't go so we threw the dive gear on my buddy and I and we went out in uh, deeper water. On a day off around the 4th of July, Governick and a friend went diving with a metal detector. They weren't looking for anything in particular, but one item caught Governick's eye. And I was just kind of um, scooting back towards the boat with him, and bing, 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 I get that uh, nice signal I like to hear in my headphones, and I'm like, wow, this could be something good. There it was, <laughs> a ring. I bring it up to the top of the surface with my buddy and show it to them and we start rubbing it and looking at it and we're like, holy cow, this, this is more than just, just a ring. This is something that is sentimental to somebody um, that lost it. It's a Hall of Fame ring. More specifically, it was Dick Gamble's American Hockey League Hall of Fame ring. The former Amherst career leading scorer was part of the 2007 AHL Hall of Fame class, just the second class to ever be inducted. But unlike many of the other rings he's found throughout the years, Governick does not want to keep this ring. It has a better home than me taking it to a pawn shop or sitting in a box and handing it down to somebody in my family. It has a better home than that and it belongs with the owner and their family. And that leads us to Gary Governick's next treasure hunt. He hopes to find Dick Gamble and give his ring back personally.